Hello everyone and welcome back to the BHFC boy. I haven't done a video for a very long time, I just remembered. Um got some No, I don't know how to describe it here. Ava Ava I film a YouTube video. <laughs> Um, not some br not some not some brilliant results to be honest, but I mean, um, definitely nothing just to uh, film a YouTube video. Well, why right do now. you send me here? Just to say you don't film a YouTube video. <laughs> it's easy to live, see there. <coughs> okay, back to the video. Um. Out Ava. Uh, so Swindon Town got beaten two one by Carlisle United. Go back there, first time back in twenty twenty three. So uh, didn't get off to a good start. Um, Carlisle got a very late goal. Um, eighty sixth, no ninety sixth minute. There was some um, six minutes of added time, and they scored. It was um. Jody Morris, the new manager, wasn't very happy at all with it. He said defending was really bad, and I was thinking when we kept on pass when we Swindon got the equaliser, just we were just passing the ball to our defence, and I said, we they're 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 going to Carlisle are going to get the ball and score, corner kick." There was this person I don't know what his name was. He was right back at the he was back of the goal, and he was unmarked. But when you wink all over, hesitating, Carlisle fans were crazy. Um, they um, they started to um, they tried to get over into the arc hall stand. They immediately ran. Um, they ran basically all the way towards the arc halls and tried to get through, but then. Um, people tried to get them out and when we were walking you could still hear the Carlisle fans who are on our way singing we're on our way to League One it wasn't a great sound that could have been Swindon then um, the time we were fourth at least playoffs but it, it looks like it's not going to happen now because um, because yeah Jody Morris not doing well at the moment uh, the full time whistle there were boos around and when they scored, basically the whole county ground was empty. Everyone left. Um, town end, of course, they're not happy. Um, noise, to be fair, was really good actually. Best I've seen from Swindon, but I <laughs> it was really funny because I was in the stand where a lot of people sing, not town end, by the way. And the noise was you would have noise from the town end, noise from the Don Rogers. It was it's everywhere, and I was like, oh my gosh. Um, but that only lasted for a couple of seconds as Carlisle got the late got the late win really. Um, but I mean, I said that at the end I'm not gonna clap for Swindon. I mean, the the player was unmarked. No, no one, no one got him. It was just free, standing there like this. Header came in, goal, but. And the first goal they scored was really good, actually. Right after the second half, um, he was right up. He was outside in the box. He just gave a shot, passed everyone into the goal. No deflections, um, but really we took chances. But I can tell there's a big difference between Jody Morris and Scott Lindsay. Um, I can notice it. I mean. Um, what could I notice? There was a few things actually. Um, but Swindon were not scoring many goals at the moment. Um, but on to Brighton at Elland Road, two-two draw with Leeds United. I wasn't there. Um, of course, I was at the County Ground, hearing about everything that was going on. But Brighton scored first with the help of, of course, Alexis McAllister. Um, then they scored. Then we scored. Then they scored. Yep, they scored about the same time as Swindon scored, actually. Um, but my dad always says, Swindon and Brighton never the same. Which, of course, you can tell their league, too, and Premier League. 
Um, but yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's been a while. It's been a while since I saw Swindon, and the last time was against AFC Wimbledon. So close from the play, I was shouting. I was like, "Johnny, give me a wave!" And still nothing. But at least a little wave would be nice. But yeah, frustrating. I've got nothing to say about Brighton and Leeds because it was uh, I wasn't there. I haven't read much about it. Um, West Ham United is trying to get back on their wins after they um, drew one one with Aston Villa. I reckon Villa could have won that one really. Um, but yeah, Brighton is starting to now again push through to get to Europa League. Um, I've got a feeling, Brighton fans, on there, you're going to hate me. We're not going to get into any sort of Europe this year. We'll be just one one place away from it, but I don't think we'll be getting to any sort of Europe. But still, we can all dream, And but I think next year we'll get there. We'll get there. If we keep the players that we have, we, we can cause great things with it. We can get to Europe. We can be playing against Barcelona, Bayern, um, other good teams. We could be playing in um, Europa League against um, Besiktas or anyone really. So it's uh, Paris Saint Germain. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, but tickets will go out in one little second though. That's the only problem. Uh, Brighton against Grimsby. We find out in I think about 10, 12 days who, if Brighton will be getting to Wembley to the semi finals. It comes down to this. This is the most important match, actually. Not the final. We just want to get to Wembley. <coughs> that's it. We're just trying to get there. Um, just get past Grimsby. Grimsby have been doing great, actually, winning against Southampton. And Luton, I think it was, or Coventry. No, that's Rex and Luton beat Coventry. Um, but yes, FA Cup. I love it when there's a big shock, you'll have a... Say just a made-up one. Rex and winning against Man United or City. <laughs> um, by 1-0. But really, it's... Big things could happen in there. Oh, sorry, it's right there. It's got to get something. I'm back everyone. So I've picked up the new V Premier League plus cards and now um I'll be doing something. It's gonna be comparing rivals and their players. So I've got some cards got some Premier League cards in there. Manchester City and Manchester United. Ilkai Gundwan or Harry Maguire. Ilkay Gundogan, 100%. Bernardo Silva or Lisandro Martinez? Big one, to be honest, but I'm going Bernardo Silva. <laughs> I don't, you know, this is just my opinion. I just... Uh, I want to talk about it. Edison or David De Gea? I'm going to say David De Gea. have to. Tyrell Malassi or Ruben Diaz? Oh, this is the most difficult one I can do. I'm going Ruben Diaz. Ruben Diaz, 100%. Well, not 100%, but, yeah. John Stones or Raphael Varane? Easy, Raphael. Raphael Varane, 100%. Diego Delo or Nathan Ake? Nathan Ake, he's been really good. He scored the goal against Arsenal. He's um, I like him as a defender, so I'm going Nathan Ake. Jao Cancelo or Luke Shaw? Jao Cancelo, he's out by Munich, but still he's at Manchester City, gone out on loan. But <sighs> Jao Cancelo. Okay. Amaric Laporte or Bruno Fernandes? Easy, easy peasy. Bruno Fernandes has been outstanding this season. That's, that's just why I think he's been really good. Christian Eriksen or Sergio Gomez? Christian Eriksen. Of course it has to be. Has to be. Let's 
else we've got? Ooh, Fred or Manuel Akanji. Manuel Akanji hasn't really played many matches for Manchester City. I think he can be good in the future after getting him from Dortmund, but still going Fred. Casemiro? Or Calvin Phillips. Casemiro, he's been great. He scored in the yeah, scored in the Carabao Cup final. He's been really good, scoring nearly every match. And of course his red card after Southampton leaving him with a four match ban. Ridiculous. Jack Grealish or Scott McTominay. Ah, that's a tough one. Scott McTominay. He's alright to be fair, but Jack Grealish, he's alright to be fair as well. <laughs> I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Uh, Jack Grealish. Jack Grealish, yeah. Rodrigo or Garnato? I'm going to go Garnato. Yep, Garnato it is. He's, he's been quite good actually. He just. There are. Bayern and Paris already want him, and he's only just 20 or 19. Oh, interesting. Anthony Martial. Wait. Anthony Martial or Kevin De Bruyne? KDB, definitely. Phil Foden or Marcus Rashford? Marcus Rashford. Rashford, he's scoring every game to Man United. Has to be him. Jaden Sancho or Julian Alvarez? Julian Alvarez, definitely. I'm not going to say anything about that. Last one, Riyad Mahrez or Anthony Alanga? I'm going... I'll say Alanga, Riyad Mahrez. He's just, he's just, he's been all right this season, actually. Um, yeah, I just, I just like him, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now, right, we've got Brighton and Crystal Palace. Um, I'm going to be extremely fair on this one. Let's start off with Brighton. Brighton and of Albion and Crystal Palace. Lewis Dunk or Milivojevic? Lewis Dunk, never heard of that Palace player. So I've got to go Lewis Dunk. And Dunk, he's alright to be fair. A couple of... Um, Bad passes against Stoke City, but still, got to go with him. Adam Webster or Christian Nogard? No, this is Brentford. Oh, sorry, 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 everyone. Adam Webster or Kawhi? Okay. Why? He, he, he's right, to be fair. Whiter or Robert Sanchez? Of course, Jason Steele, he's played um, the last three matches for Brighton. Two of them were first team Premier League matches. Question mark, question mark. Whiter. I'm choosing more Palace players than Brighton and I support Brighton, which is a bit strange, but yeah. Ward or Tariq Lamperty. Tariq Lamperty, got to be. Has to be Tariq Lamperty. Levi Colwell or Tariq Mitchell? Ah! Levi Colwell. Have to do it. Purvis Estepinia or... Anderson. Now I've got Purvis Estepinian's shirt up in my bedroom, signed. Um, and that's the game against the Charlton Athletic, um, where we lost on penalties. Bit disappointed with it, but uh, yeah, I'm going Estepinian, and it's not just because I have his shine, shine, signed shirt upstairs. It's just because I reckon he's a really good player and he's gonna be helpful for us in the future. Joel Veltman. Joel Veltman or Klein? Joel Veltman, yep. Solly March or 
Richards. Never heard of Richards. Going okay, Solly March, easy. This is an interesting one. Ollie's. Ollie's. Ollie's or Solly March. Wait, wait. What do Alexis McAllister and Ollie's McAllister. It has to be our Argentine winner, Alexis McAllister. Um, can't wait um, me to see him when I'm a mascot for Brighton. Um, definitely, if it's on TV, watch it. And then you'll be able to tell it to me. My big curly hair. Pascal Gross. Or Eze. Pascal Gross. Pascal Gross. Um, Adam Lalana. Or Schlupp. Adam Lalana. Has to be. Has to be Adam Lalana. Harry Mitoma, I'm probably going to pick him, or Ebby. Harry Mitoma is scoring every game. Now, Caicedo, Caicedo, Ducore, Ducore, I rate him as a good player, but I think against Caicedo, I'm going with Moises Caicedo. So I've, I've Chosen, I've chosen a couple of Palace players at the beginning, but now it's going off to Brighton. But still, um, I think what well, I'm, I'm saying is fair. Are you? Are you? Or Leandro Trossard? Leandro Trossard, he's not at Brighton anymore. He's at Arsenal. Bird's doing really well there. He got a, a couple of assists, four shots. Um, so I'm going. I'm not going to count that one. Because he's not on loan. I'm not going to count it. I'm going Ayu. Wilfried Zaha. Or Danny Welbeck. Wilfried Zaha. Danny Welbeck has been useless this season. He's taken shots where he should have really scored. Like against, um, I think it was against West Ham. Or... Oh my god. Oh, unsuccessful. So, uh, no players we deserved. Ignore that. Not planned at all. If I don't do videos that go up to seventeen minutes long, so that's probably what it is. Um, Dan yeah, Daniel Avec has been useless this season. Like I said, he scored. He's missed shots where he should have scored. Misses which have gone all the way over the crossbar. Didn't like it. Julio sees Renciso or Mateta. Mateta. Julio sees Renciso. He has another chance to be in the first team. I think he um he had this long distance shot which I think was quite good for a new beginner. But yeah, going Mateta. Eduard or Denny Zundav. Denny Zundav as well. He's been useless. We need a decent striker. Um, going Eduard. I think that'll be it because we're running out of the time a bit. Uh, I'm doing well with my collection so far. It's, um, I just got it two days ago and I've got four Brighton players and they are Lewis Dunk, Levi Colwell, Danny Welbeck and Pascal Gross. Um, pretty happy with with that, uh, yeah, yeah, I think, I think that's it for today, um, I might start posting some FIFA videos, only if, um, go on a video that has, that allows comments, such as, on the community page, go there, type in, just any random post, just type in, do you want FIFA, yes or no, and the more yeses I get, I'll do it, well, those I'll get, I won't do it. But I think I'll get more views doing FIFA. Um, yeah. That's it for today. From the BHAFC boy. Uh, yeah, and also I forgot to say AFC Bournemouth winning against Liverpool. What a shock that was. Mohamed Salah missing a penalty. Cody Gakpo um, taking a shot all the way over the crossbar. Liverpool aren't at their best. Really, really aren't. That's it for the BHAFC boy.
and uh, let's see, I'll do a video soon this time. Um, bye bye.